We daily vlogs. So if you like this video, we hope that you will come back tomorrow. But today is the 10K. And I am going over to B Corral. We're at the parking lot of Magic Kingdom. And I'm feeling good and ready. I am going to try and find a spot at the starting line. Last time, it was Star Wars. The last time that the starting line was here in the Magic Kingdom parking lot. And I had a hard time getting close enough to see him. So I'm going to see how it looks. Do my best and then hop on a bus back to the Epcot parking lot to see him at mile four and then the finish line too. See how it goes, I might end up running across because it's just like two miles from one spot. Like Peter will just have two miles to run and then I'll have to walk across the parking lot so it'll be interesting to see like how fast it takes. Um, but that is my plan for the day. I know Peter's super, super excited. We just happened to come upon Katie and Eddie in the parking lot. We parked like right next to them. So that was awesome being able to see them this morning. But Peter's like so in the zone, so excited. I'm so happy for him. He loves this weekend and all run Disney weekend so much. Oh, we are ready to go. Let's send them all. Right, this step was for our cheer athletes only. We're going to do it in three, two, one. Who didn't sleep at all last night? Who needs to be scooped to have a pair of bottles? Here we go. Coming up on mile two. Almost time for the turn to Epcot. Woo! Here's the turn. A little ump rag. Ump. Up ramp action before we go to the world showcase. This right here is one of my favorite views of the whole run. Sail runners down there about to do the turn. That's where we just were. And Epcot's up here. Okay, a little update on my end. I was at the starting line, Peter and I were texting. I was talking to the people in front of me. To explain them about the corrals as I got the text that Peter started like I thought that he still had a little bit of time because we were just talking and I look at my phone and it said he crossed so I did not see him hopefully he got some good footage um, but I don't think I got him on the vlog either but I feel like it's just becoming humorous now like I miss him also he made it here faster than my bus did so I plan to see him at mile four and he got there before I did. So I'm just going straight to the finish line and I will see him there. Um, the finish line's the same as yesterday where they cross and then they walk. So there is a little bit more time. I'll see that he crossed on my phone with a notification and then I'll see him. Um, so yeah, that's my, my morning did not go as planned. In the world showcase, just past mile four, we got Chef Pluto over there. One lap around, world showcase. And two, three, you're done. All right, Peter has finished. You killed it. Good job. Oh, I my drive up hard after mile two. Oh, God. But we got that. Yeah. Look at your bling. I got my, oh, yeah. It's really nice. Yeah. It's real nice. Show what's in your box. And they change up this year to be more healthy. And I think also, not. I think it's unintentionally vegan friendly. We got almond rice pops, tortilla chips with hummus. The hummus actually isn't that good. We got go-go squeeze. But it's better than fake cheese. Yeah, definitely. I'm just saying, like, for people who've never had hummus, they make it a, I'm still in Sarah's statement. <laughs> they may be a bad first impression. 52 was my time. My Strava paused at mile three, so I couldn't tell when I crossed the line. I was like, I don't know what I did. <laughs> yeah, but. I feel good. Okay. Um, I'm hungry and I want to take a nap. All right, everybody. It's been a few hours. I couldn't really go back to sleep. I fell asleep for maybe 30 minutes. Sarah got a little bit more sleep, so that's good. I might try to get a little bit more in, um, but it's one o'clock. I just did our crazy schedule. Um, left us with a more than usual amount of dishes, and so I, I just knocked all those out. Sarah's editing the vlog right now. I think that's going well, and I want to make, our friend Makaya sent us a little care package the other day including vegan pancake mix and vegan Nutella, organic hazelnut spread with kokoi. Um, so I'm about to make us like late breakfast for lunch. Um, I feel good. I need to roll out some more. I, I mean, like, I definitely feel like I used my legs, which I think is for me is a good thing. I know a lot of people talk about 
these weekend race kind of situations where to not feel the strain on your muscles and your legs before the big race and I feel good I mean like I've done like simulated runs like this you, you guys have, have seen multiple times two weeks ago I ran like a three three mile six mile 18 mile which is less or more than this weekend two weeks before that I think I ran a 312 and 26 or a 336 and 26 so my legs know what to do I just have to keep telling myself that because at this point it's all mental and to make sure I eat what I'm supposed to eat today and get some rest but I kept telling myself that every that's what I tell myself every time I go uphill is my legs know what to do but I'm starving I think Sarah's starving I gotta make pancakes all right here's how they turned out I tasted them they taste good but they're just not rising like normal pancakes but they still look absolutely delicious and they taste delicious too once again we're jumping hours ahead <laughs> and once again we have food in front of us in the car and this will be the last time I probably eat tonight today until tomorrow I'll probably have like a fruit or something but it's called babach it's potatoes onions green peppers we're going to meet up with Karen and Kayla at Universal it's not sure what the night holds but it's her birthday today, plan. right? It's tomorrow. Oh. Um. Look at this one. And this one's also the collector's edition. Oh, yeah. Cool. You can see we got picked to get a wand at. Did you go to Ollivander's? Yeah. Awesome. She did the ceremony and, they did all and everything. The magic, yeah, the whole ceremony. <laughs> I. Well. Christmas and it's Christmas time now, but I kind of feel weird that we saw Epcot or Universal Christmas before Disney Christmas. Just me and Kayla are gonna go on Skull Island. Are you ready? Do you not know what, what's gonna happen? No. Ooh, this is spooky. Come on, come on. You wanna go in front of me? Okay, what did you think? Nice, but it was too loud for me. It was—it's a very loud ride, and I've never ridden it on the end before, and it was very creepy. All right, I'm back in the vlog. I got the little one now. The birthday girl Eve. Tomorrow's her birthday, so put a comment down below and say happy birthday. We're I'm going, going to be checking the comments, so <laughs> so do it. Um, we're going on flight of the hippogriff, right? Is that what it's right there. We're going on flight of the hippogriff. Got the express pass. And then Karen and Sarah are hanging out. We're gonna do this, and then we'll we'll see what's going on. I was telling Sarah, I was like, they're gonna check his pass and be like, your name's Karen. Yeah, my name's Karen. Wait a minute. You don't it's, belong here. It's not Halloween anymore. No, it's just a scarecrow. Oh, oh no! Ah. That's gonna be us. She doesn't know about the giant bucket. What just happened? We got number one. We got front row. We got a nine in Kayla's like, I just want front row. I love front row. Right in the front. And you got it. It's an early birthday present from Universal. All right, Kayla. What'd you think? Yeah. You like it? Yeah. Did you think Buckbeak was cute? Yeah. She was like, what's what's a hippogriff? And I was like, oh, you'll see. We're all four of us are all four houses. Um, Puff a Puff. Slytherin. What's your mom? North. And Sarah is a Ravenclaw. So right now, we're representing all of this here school right now. Yeah. She holds it like a pencil. Mm -hmm. See how it blows? Ah. Power. What did you find, Peter? Lots of spooky books. Freaky Florida, Eerie Florida Tales of Terror from Tampa Bay. This is one of my favorite shops in Islands of Adventure, the local art. This is all ready for Christmas. Look at all these lights. Oh my, we are in trouble. My friends went on that cool. Like, it's like basically the people mover of this landing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And so we're waiting by the exit, which is in the candy store, and this is trouble. Christmas. You need to get some candy canes to bring to the office. I do. Our biggest Universal Studios Orlando, Florida advice is write down where you parked before you leave. Write down on your body somewhere because yeah. 
we usually take a photo or like our phone registers where our car is but both of our phones died and i'm in the middle of a conversation with steve trying to reorganize if we're going to change the restaurant for tomorrow after the race and both of our phones are dead. and we don't have a charger in the car and it took us wait we had we walked if you know universal parking garages we just walked to one side left because we couldn't find it walked to the other went there and realized that it could not have been there and had to walk back here and then found our car it was in the level above what we thought and i realized that we went on two escalators but one of the escalators we walked down and that's why i remembered and um now yeah, and now but we're we're still we live. We can close. still get to bed before nine, hopefully. Yeah, that's so our we, that's our goal. We gotta go. That was a mess, but we made it. We and we kept our cool. Enough of our cool. It was close. We lost some of it. <laughs> All right, we made it home. <laughs> look at look at my hair from it being it in looks like so cute. little um braids, twisty buns. Yeah, <laughs> it looks <laughs> so funny right now. Oh, he was mad. I kind of look like the Joker. It's eight forty. We have. A to do list. What else do we gotta do? What? Oh, I cleaned my shorts. <sighs> Did you clean socks? I have a pair of clean socks, but they're not the ones I wanna wear, but I might <laughs> have a pair of the ones I wanna wear. Okay, what else do we gotta what do? What became first chicken or the egg? I don't know. Um, I just wanna lay everything out. Okay. Okay, I just looked up the map for the half marathon tomorrow, and I truly don't think that I can spectate anywhere besides the starting line and the finish line. And I don't know who I need to talk to to, to get that changed because I want to go and cheer and be like how I was for the marathon where I got to like follow Peter around. I loved that. All right, here's my setup. Here's after race clothes in this bag, my newer ACS bag that I got. Thank you. My bib, my bib boards. Got, this is how I dry my armband in my water bottle. Kind of gross, but works. Three goos. Steve's got a caffeinated uh, Martin goo for me in the morning. Shorts, singlet, socks, sweatband, shoes, unlaced, ready to go. My Nike Reacts from Steve. These things are light as a feather with good support. So hopefully it'll help me be a, just a little bit speeder. Just shave a few seconds off, maybe. All right, November 2nd. Ooh. It's by our buddy J. J. R. Tolkien. Some believe it is only great power that can hold evil in check, but that is not what I have found. It is the small everyday deeds of ordinary folk that keep the darkness at bay. Small acts of kindness and love. J. J. R. You are so correct. All right, all my clothes are all set up and everything like you saw. Um, last thing I'm gonna do is drink at least half to three fourths of this. And then I'm gonna call it a day. It's 9.20, we 20 minutes past what we wanted to go to bed, but that's not bad. It's much better than what we've been doing the past couple days. Feeling good, feeling ready. Um, I'm gonna use my little stretch, my muscle roller to roll out my the bottom of my feet a little bit. I got a little, my the fascia on the bottom of my feet is a little tight, but nothing more than I've usually felt, so I feel fine. And my right knee was giving me a little twinge before the race today, but that worked itself out on the route, so. Feeling as good as can be. Stomach feels good. Nutrition feels good. Hydration feels good. Have a banana in the morning. Maybe grab another one depending on how my hunger is at ACS. But we're good. It's good to be home. Oh gosh, that's all we're saying? Because mm -hmm. it's early morning? Mm -hmm. Okay, well. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>